Solving the equation sine of 3x minus 15 degrees equals 0 0.2 and x is now in the range of 0 and 360 degrees. So first thing to do, isolate the sine term. It is already isolated, so we are ready to go here. Um, we will first then sketch the graph of the base y equals sine x function. So just a quick sketch. We will do the base one, so we'll say 360 degrees, take the quarters here amplitude 1 negative 1 so we are just working with the base graph the base function we know it will look more or less like that and we need to equal that to 0 0.2 a positive constant so it's sitting above the 0 and it's a horizontal line so the intercepts here are, are the answers to the base function the base equation sine of x equals 0 0.2 so first thing we do is we calculate sine inverse of that 0 0.2 and now our calculator should be set to degrees so sine inverse of 0.2 gives us 11.5 degrees i'll just put um, 12 degrees i know it's a big rounding bit here but just so that we don't need to worry about lots of room for the workings so what does this mean that this first answer is 12 degrees to the base function so this part here is equivalent to 12 degrees to find the second one i will just look at the mirror image there and say these two measurements are the same and that blue one basically makes the second angle goes up there and stops here at the orange dot so it doesn't get to the 180 so how do we calculate that we do 180 short of 12 degrees so if we do 180 degrees take away 12 degrees 168 so this is the answer the second base answer we get so I could get started here by writing one of the base answers is 168 degrees and the other one is just 12 degrees we will need to set the original angle for this equation equal to that so 3x minus 15 equals both those base answers before we move on let's just check how many answers we are expecting if this number in front of x is 3 this means we have three full cycles in 360 degrees each full cycle gives us two answers so that means we're going to have a total of six answers how do we do that now well on top of these base answers we are going to add 360 degrees so 12 plus 360 will give us 372 degrees and same with the 168 we're going to add another lap we're going to add 360 degrees to get 528 but because we are expecting six answers i'll add another 360 degrees to the answer of the second lap so 372 plus 360 giving us 732 degrees and the last one another 360 on top of this base answer so 528 plus 360 
888 degrees. So what do we have to do now? Set the original angle equal to each one of those base angles that we calculated. And we didn't have to sketch the graph of this um, sine function with the phase angle and the three full cycles within 360. So now all we need to do is isolate x by adding 15 to both sides in all cases because it's subtracting on the left hand side. So we add 15 to all of this or we do them individually separately however we want to do it. Add 15 and add 15 because it's subtracting on the left hand side and then we're going to once we have the answer so 12 and 15 was 27 so 27 divided by 3 so that will give us 9 degrees and here we have 168 plus 15 then divided by 3 61 degrees and then here we have 572 plus 15 oops 572 plus 15 is 587 divided by 3 196 degrees rounded to the nearest whole angle and this one 528 plus 15 is 543 divided by 3 181 degrees so far all these are within the 0 to 360 uh, range so this one here on the bottom 732 plus 15 132 plus 15 gives us 747 and then divided by 3 249 still within the range and the last one 888 plus 15 divided by 3 301 degrees so just now looking at all our answers we have to have six answers 9 degrees 61 degrees 196 181 249 and 301 degrees six answers because we have this three here in front of x telling us that within the 360 degree range we're going to have six answers because there are three full cycles in it